So we say, while the iron is hot, take that which you know to be true and put it at the forefront for yourself. Rely on this as it were, for those things of a truthful nature do not often come your way. In these matters the truth of the matter is seldom seen, for there are those who obfuscate all of it for personal gain. It is sad to see this occur for no one gains from it, in spite of what is thought about it. In these ways man continues onward always submersed in the next greatest thing to take the attention away from where it should be, glued within himself. Man knows no better than to subject himself to this travesty over and over and over again, somehow thinking all will be better on the other side. The other side turns into another side quickly thereafter, and man remains stranded for his cause, and empty-handed for his efforts and we say this is as stupid as it gets. For in and of itself these repeated scenarios with different looks about them are the same old stories man has been telling for his lifetime here on earth. It behooves him to step back and witness the travesty at hand, that which usurps his attention to develop the lackluster tones man assumes about himself. And in this, great danger arises for never does he consider this all a figment of imaginations gone wild. Instead, his sense of self has gone berserk, and left him stranded in the muck and mire of that which knows no remedies for him, and this is sad indeed. The lies inundated over him are relentless, ever pouring out into the streets of despair for everyone to witness how poor and destitute the being actually is in his demonstration of wantonness and lack of critical attention to his own inner self. These days must pass, there must be consideration given to those who deem themselves more important than the corporate guidelines that rule their lives. When this is done we see great progress in the making, but until that time there is no avail and no place to hide for those who continue to usurp the dignity of others through scheming and regression of talent needed to bring man forward at this time. In and of this we say beware the incidences of subterfuge enacted by those who know not what they are doing, enacting all kinds of verdicts and things that refute all liking of that which will actually help. These things are abhorrent actually, for they strip man bare of all dignity and promise for a future full of pride and knowing, rendering him mute once again, to remain quiet in his squalor-induced coma of illicit being, rendered by others who care nothing about him. This is a travesty indeed. <laughs>